gentlemen, Pani e Panove, I welcome you. I know you are tired. I want to ask you to concentrate all your abilities and listen to me with all your attention. My speech about Georgia, situation in Georgia, present situation in the world, in the world and perspective of global politics. Russia considers Georgia as other post-Soviet countries as territory of its influence, not country, but territory, only territory. This decision is humiliating for Georgia, but permanent for Russia. I think West is waiting for bankruptcy crash of Russia and then will ignore its refusal of Georgia's pro-Western political orientation and activate process of integration Georgia in European Union and NATO. This is not real politic, but fear of affecting Russia's political ambitions. Georgia and we Georgians must try to be adequate in every political situation. We have good example of Israel. Regional integration of Georgia in one political organization with Poland, Baltic states, Ukraine, and Moldova will be also fruitful for all of these countries. Of course, we must continue partnership and close relations with the European Union and NATO, but not as fanatics, but as prudent, purposeful supporters of real politics. Problem of our development and success is task of us, Georgians, first of all. And we welcome all facts of outer support of our strategic partners. Every open-minded person understands that breaking of process of Georgia's NATO membership cause of Russia's refusal. Alliance is not ready to overcome this barrier. Georgia has one chance to satisfy with Israel's status in NATO without useless victims and heroes. I think civil West, NATO, are waiting for the crash, I repeat this sentence, the, oh, for the crash of Putin's regime and only then will activate politics of full integration of Georgia in NATO and European Union. But there is one great problem. In Georgia is strengthening pro-Russian political forces and same mood in society. As the, at that time in country may be in power, pro-Kremlin political parties and plan of Georgia, NATO's member will be crushed. So NATO must rethink its cautious politics towards Georgia and be more bold, brave, purposeful in fulfillment of obligation of Bucharest summit of Georgia's NATO's membership for certain. European Union needs reformation to survive as effective global political institution. Now we live in an epoch of self-interest, mercenariness, as Pope Benedict XVI called it uh, meaningless, but not values. I think the restoration of human democratic Christian values as basis of future Europe has vital importance. Cosmopolitan Republic of Europe will be convenient for Germany, France, other big countries, but what about Georgia? Little country with 3,500,000 population. Can my nation save its cultural and mental identity in New Babylon? Big danger of assimilation. I think main problem is to return to the democratic and Christian human values of civil Europe and on this basis reform global political institutions. Georgia with its contributions in NATO's military operations and ex exercises did and does more than many actual members of Alliance. Country deserves NATO membership long time ago. Only refusal of Russia is insuperable obstacle for Alliance to fulfill obligation of Bucharest summit. Georgia has chance to be satisfied with Israel's status in NATO without useless victims and heroes. I repeat this sentence again. I think at that time when Alliance will be ready to accept Georgia as member state in, as member state 
in Georgia will be pro-Kremlin political parties and plan, plan Georgia's NATO membership will be crushed. In one of his interviews, Samuel Beckett answered that he doesn't know who is the savior Godot. So indefinite reality, way to frustration and failure. I think very pessimistic about future of Putin and Russia. Spiritual situation in Russia, catastrophic. Nihilism compensated only by vodka, massive alcoholism. To succeed in Russia without close relations with politics, it's nonsense. Power depraved Russian society, cause political elite is highly depraved. Homosexuality, favorite enjoyment of political elite, plus low level of common culture and alcoholism, including in women. Putin only balanced this society, but system lost main characteristics of, norm of normality. That's why local wars, pro prolonged frozen cold conflicts, dream about renewed USSR, everything is necessary to balance power and existence of society. At last, this all will crash and we'll see apocalyptic end of Russian empire with its magician for Putin. It will be very soon, I assure you. Question of Putin's successor has vital importance for the world. Russian's majority supports Putin, despite total poverty, grows 200 from Ukraine and Syria, corruption in his surroundings, gray reality of country's life. I think Putin will be pleased to stay in power during all his whole life. Some analytics think that persons from secret services have more chance to choose successor, successor of Putin from their circle. But I think that also great role in this process, we, uh, notice this sentence, will play criminal authorities who have big influence on Putin Governor, oligarchs, and unofficially, partially, partially controlled throughout Russia. Russian masculinity is myth created by local propaganda machine. There are equal number of homosexuals, bisexuals, and lesbians in Russia as in Europe, which Russians call as gay rope. In Russia, much more alcoholics and as a result impotence than in Europe and in the West in common. In Putin's Russia, everything is upside down, and in country is total mess. As a resume, I want to repeat my praise. Don't praise. Don't make from Putin Superman. He was ordinary KGB, KGB officer, servant of former Governor Sobchak, and lawyer loader of his suitcases. I repeat this praise. Don't make from Putin Superman. He was ordinary KGB, KGB officer, servant of former Governor Sobchak, and loyal loader of his suitcases. Russian propaganda machine has cosmic financing, false narratives mixed with true stories, disorienting audience, frustrated part of Western societies, easy target for saviors from Moscow. Many Western journalists, as are paid by Kremlin. Russian oligarchs are owners of Western TV channels, newspapers, and magazines. All these together created magic circle, and victims of such reality are Western consumers of media means. Inside Russia, Putin's regime fights with independent media. His honest, brave journalists, part of them ran to immigration. So such brutal methods still successful in such country and determine support of majority of Russian society. Russia tries to divide European unity mentally and then succeed in informational war. Western media and political authorities, decision maker, political authorities, must realize danger and resist with true professional journalism against weaponization of information practicing by Kremlin. Of course, USA is global superpower worldwide. This uh, article I wrote uh, before uh, Trump be became U USA president. <laughs> of course, USA is global super world, world superpower worldwide. Silk Road project also American and means global free trading between West and East. 
but as culturally, also by mentality, American nation based on Western European values. Main threats and challenges for USA exist and come from the East. So despite of new factors in global politics, USA's leadership transforms world into democratic space of, on Western model. Transatlantic cooperation is still priority in global world. And now some words about our host country, uh, our friendly country, Poland. President Andrzej Duda and his political team are true Democrats and with their leadership country will become as new great Poland. Also assure me, I, I assure you, I, I consider them as successors of heroic Unico person and former president of Lech Kaczynski greatest friend of my Georgia and Georgians. Unfortunately, in Georgia, politics is the most successful business activity. Absolute majority of deputies more care of their financial benefits than to serve to the electorate and society in common. I think this deformed, ugly tradition will not change after new parliamentary election. Constitutional majority of ruling party is very dangerous reality and possible autocracy will be catastrophic for Georgia. I want to repeat that pro-Russian political forces and mood in Georgia rise. Also great problem, absolute incompetency of majority of Georgian deputies. Because they are popular sportsmen, football players, rugby, former football, football players, rugby players, singers, actors, but not pol professional politicians. <clears throat> Ivanishvili stated that his party must be in power till 2030 for radical transformation of poor Georgia into developed, rich European country. This decision also controversial. I hope that Georgian government and Prime Minister Kurikashvili will fulfill main goals of normal development of Georgia, a strong country. Well-educated and motivated members of current government have positive experience in realizing realization of big projects and are guarantors that Georgia's pro-Western orientation does not change and stays inevitable, irreversible mainstream of country's foreign politics. Georgia leader state in region as pillar of democracy. Actual, actual member of European Council, closest strategic partner of USA and the European Union, aspirant of NATO's membership, and will get visa-free regime with Euro European countries uh, in near future. These great achievements are basis of my hope that my homeland will become strong, prosperous part of civil Western and Euro European family. So I call to the West and, ho and Europe. Here we gather cosmopolitan audience and I call to you. Accept, return Georgia to your political club, to its native European family. I repeat, accept, return Georgia to your political club, to its native European family. This is not rec only request but demand of millions of my compatriot Georgians. God bless Georgia, God bless Poland, God bless you all.